Here is a quick tutorial on how to use linear interpolation. So let's do a quick new scene. Uh, let's add kinematic body 2D. Give it a script. I'm just going to call it ball. And give that a sprite. I'm going to, oops, make sure that sprite is part of the kinematic body 2D. I'm going to go ahead and add a texture for the sprite. We'll just move this kinematic body 2D to the middle of the screen so we can see what's up. Let's go to the script, and I'm going to do just a couple quick variables. We'll say uh, speed. We'll put that to like 300. And then a variable, call it velocity, and that'll be equal to a vector 2. We'll just do a blank vector 2. And then we'll do a physics process. If you don't want all those annoying debugger errors, if you don't use delta in your code, just add a little underscore uh, in front of the delta, and you won't get those. All right, we're going to say if input dot is action pressed and just to keep this tutorial quick and simple we'll just use the enter key then we're going to make velocity equal to a vector 2 that will plug in our speed variable for our x movement and we'll just keep it at zero for a while maybe, for now. And then we'll say uh, else if we're not, you know, basically if we're not pushing the enter key, then velocity oh, whoops I put my, I was wondering what the uh, error there was Okay, else velocity will equal vector 2 dot 0. Okay, so this should give us some really basic movement here. Uh, we'll just call this scene test 2. Save it. Let's test 2. We'll run it. Just give it a quick look just to make sure everything is working as it should. I push enter key and nothing is happening. Oh, I know what I forgot. I'll leave this mistake in so uh, people will learn from this because I do this all the time. Uh, we also need to set our velocity, or we need to plug it into our move and slide function here method or whatever you would consider this. So we would slide and then we'll just put velocity inside the parentheses there. A quick little tip I picked up from some YouTuber, I forget who um, I saw this from. Uh, if you want a little bit of smoother motion, smoother uh, graphics with this movement, then uh, instead of putting that move and slide in the physics process, go ahead and take this line and instead put it in a process function. Uh, and it does make the movement a little bit less uh, jerky. All right, anyway, let's give that a try. Make sure I didn't make any other mistakes that I'm not seeing here. Enter key, we move, release enter key, and it stops. Pretty basic. All right, so the goal here is that we would rather have this ball gradually start moving and speed up to its speed, uh, its speed that we intended to go at, and then gradually slow down instead of just suddenly start and suddenly stop. And that is the purpose of linear interpolation. 
uh, to kind of gradually ease from one value to another. Uh, usually it works with vector twos. You can do this with um, all kinds of different values. Um, but some values, some aspects, you may want to use a tween node instead of a linear interpolation. But this is a nice quick and easy method that is especially good for motion and rotation and scale, things like that. So we want to set velocity to this value. But instead of going directly to that value, we're going to say velocity equals lerp. And inside the lerp, we have three different things that we need to have. We need to have the original value that we are lerping from. We need to have the destination value that we are lerping to. And then the third thing is going to be what they call the weight, but it's basically like kind of the rate at which it happens. Um, so the, the value that we have to begin with is velocity, which by our variable up here is just automatically a vector to zero. We're going to use a comma to separate the three different things we need to plug in. Um, so the second thing we need is what we want to set our velocity to, which we already said earlier is going to be a vector two with the speed plugged in to the x axis and zero plugged in to the y axis. And then finally, the last thing we need is uh, the rate, or what they call the weight. It's on a scale from zero to one. Now if I put a one in there, it would just be the same as not using alert because it would just fully change to the new value uh, without any kind of hesitation or gradual easing. Whereas if we do anything less than one, it will be more gradual. The smaller the number, the more gradual it is. So if I did say 0 0.01, you'll see the difference in the effect as our kinematic body starts moving across the screen. So I'm hitting enter now. Nice gradual start pretty abrupt stop still so we'll come down here and we'll do the same thing velocity equals lerp and whatever velocity happens to be at the moment that the uh, enter key is not being pressed to vector 2.0 and then whatever uh, rate we want it to be which in this case, uh, maybe we'll make the slowdown happen a little bit, oops, a little bit slower still. Like we're sliding on ice. So we have an even smaller number here. So we'll give that a run, see what that looks like. So a gradual start, and gradual slowdown. Well, maybe too gradual. Try that one more time, just to just to see the full slowdown there. See that number is really tiny, so it's going to keep going for quite a while before it slows down. Imagine being on ice when the character tries to stop. So hopefully this is helpful and gives everyone out there a, a, a really easy, bare bones, simplified breakdown of how this works, how to use it. Um, if anybody has any suggestions for me on if there are ways that I can do this better or explain this better, if anybody has any questions, uh, or anyone has any um, requests for me on any other concepts that I could possibly break down super simply for you, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.